to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shirley Howard. I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. If you're interested in any of those platforms, our fashion reselling, or tips and tricks, or strategy videos, hit that subscribe button below to be notified when new videos are released. So today's video is a what sold video, and let me say 21 is moving along. We're already uh, into March, so this what sold video is going to be for the last two weeks of February. You might notice the t-shirt I have on. It says, there's too much junk in the trunk. Said no thrifter ever. It's one in a line of 13 t-shirts that I'm designing. And eventually you'll see these uh, show up underneath my YouTube videos in case you want to make a purchase. This is a sample one that I got in. I'm actually very happy with the quality and how everything looks. So stay tuned for more information on that. So let's get to this what sold video. And I'm going to start with Poshmark. The first item I sold on Poshmark, it's a Calvin Klein ladies top. It's a sleeveless top, but it's also a plus size. I did pick it up uh, last summer, so I've had it for a little bit, a little while. Uh, I finally sold it for $20. And if you watch any of my videos, I don't like to sell anything under $20 because I just don't think there's enough profit in that for me to even be bothered. The odd time I will just to clear out some inventory, but as a rule, $20 and above is kind of where I sit. Next is a pair of Guess Men's sneakers. Someone came along and just paid $40 for these sneakers. I bought them for $5, so I made a nice little profit on these sneakers. Next, I had a bundle. I actually gave the person who bought this bundle a very good deal. As we were in the end of February and they were coasting into spring, I'm trying to clear out as much winter stuff as possible, so my offers to Likers or bundle deals have been going out with a little bit more than usual, and I've been playing with offering a shipping discount to get items to move. Once I get more data on this little experiment, I'll let you know how big a difference adding a shipping discount actually makes. So it has been enough to prompt some sales, and I've actually had some buyers come back and said, can you offer me a $9.99 shipping discount? That's new. I've never had that before, so I'm making that adjustment uh, with some of my sales. So I sold this red um, L. Bean sweater and this blue Tory Birch sweater. I paid in total $10 for these two sweaters. I sold them in a bundle for $50. Still makes them over the $20 per item that I like to sell at. But I gave the buyer a really good deal because I knew the cost of my goods was only $10. Very generous. Next was a Mackage jacket. Packable jacket, really nice lightweight jacket. It's going to show up somewhere in a thrift haul video. And I had a buyer at $60. When you're paying, you know, somewhere between $275 and $6 for most of your items. And again, it's always important to know the cost of the goods you're selling so you know how big of a discount you can offer and still make money. So I always keep the cost of what I'm selling in mind to determine my offer to Likers or what I'm sending as a bundle discount. So anything to $60, $60 was a really good profit on this item. Next is a Sailor and Brides Hero World Traveler Winter Jacket. Uh, I did have it listed for a higher price at $85. I had an offer at $70. I paid $10 for this jacket. It's a brand new jacket. It's not a brand we see around here a lot. It is in a thrift haul video. It's like my $10,000 thrift haul video that I did last summer where I got a lot of items brand new with tags for $5 and some winter jackets that were $10. So I made a $60 profit on this particular jacket and it was really, really nice. They get a great jacket. The next is a pair of sandals, and I do see some summer stuff that's coming up. People are starting to get out there. When I'm out thrifting right now, I am picking up summer dresses and summer things, getting ready for spring, which is why I'm offering those winter items at low prices to get them out, because I don't want to have to look at them for another year. So these sandals I did purchase last year, and I've had lots of interest in the sandals, lots of likers. So no, lots of offers to Likers, and I had someone come, up, come in and buy those for $35. Now, 
Next is Vineyard Vines. It's a ladies' pink dress shirt. I find Vineyard Vines quite a lot at one of the thrift stores that I go to uh, often. It's not necessarily a brand that's known that well here. If you're from, you know, the, the U.S., especially in the, the New England states, it's a brand that you're very familiar with. Uh, Vineyard Vines is going to come up a couple times in this uh, What Sold video. Uh, I purchased this item for $2.75 and I sold it for $30. Next is the Tahari Bub dress. Uh, it's from my own closet. I sold it for $32. It was one that I bought that I had intentions of wearing and I just never wore it. So I threw it up on the Poshmark website to see if I could clear it out and I did at the $32 range. Next was a really fun item. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if these are vintage or an older style vans with the checkerboard pattern on them. I paid about $5 for these sneakers and I sold them for $30. So I tend to have in my closet a wide range of things from Disney princess phones to men's items to, you know, dog jackets. So it's pretty random, but I try and keep stuff in my closet from all categories so that anyone looking for anything can come and find it for me. Next is some more summer items, a pair of Tommy Hilfiger flip-flops. I did send out a lot of um, shipping discounts. How do I put this? I decided to lower the price on a bunch of my items in an attempt to clear them out. So when I go into an item and I reduce the price by at least 10%, there is a price drop feature in Poshmark. Everyone who's liked that item gets a notice that the price has gone down and they get a shipping discount. I did a whole video on this as well. So the person that bought these flip-flops got them for $18. Next, a pair of women's uh, boots. These were also part of that price drop deal that I did. Uh, so a lot of these items coming up are part of a price drop I did over a couple of days. So these boots, I did a price drop on them. They would have been $75. I put them down to $60 and I had a sale at $60. Still a great profit for me because I'm only paying about $6 for these boots. These Eurosoft sandals, another thing, part of this deal. They are from my own closet. I had no intentions of ever wearing them, or I guess I did have intentions of wearing them. I didn't wear them at all, and they went at $20. So here, this is where I'm being very generous with shipping stuff out of my closet. This Oliver Thomas Wing Woman Padded Shoulder Tote. I sold it for $25 on Poshmark. I had an offer on eBay on the exact same day for this purse. But where I sold it on Poshmark first, even though I would have made more money on eBay, I honored the sale on Poshmark and sold it for $25. Had I sold it on eBay, it would have been at $35 US. So I sacrificed a little profit, but I maintained my integrity. Next is an Anthropology uh, brand new top. I'm trying to clear out some Anthropology brands, and I mentioned in my videos, um, I don't get as much money out of Anthropology as I would like to, and I, I say it's a brand that I'm not really picking up anymore because it's. I don't seem to see that there's a lot of money in selling it because um, people are selling it at ten and fifteen and twenty dollars. Twenty dollars okay, ten and fifteen dollars it really it's, it's a lot of work to bring the stuff home, take pictures of it, and share it every day, and only make two or three dollars an item. I'm not interested in that, but this one went out for twenty-five dollars. Another item: these Tory Burch jeans. I found these. Oh, early last year, I shouldn't say early last year, mid last year at a thrift store. So excited to find these Tory, Tory Burch jeans. Thought they would sell instantly. They did not. <laughs> so I have been sitting on these for about six months. Dropped them in my price drop feature, uh, put them down to $50, and although there's a lot of likers, I did have a person come through and make the purchase at the $50 mark. Still a great profit because I would have paid $5.50 for these jeans. Next is a Maggie London dress, part of this price drop I was doing to get rid of some items. Price dropped down to $18, and I had a buyer at the $18 range. Next is a pair of Madewell jeans, another uh, pair of items, another pair of jeans which I thought would sell really quickly. They sold relatively quickly, but not instantly. Uh, part of my price drop as well. 
and I brought these prices down to $40 and had the buyer at the $40. Next is another anthropology item. Again, price dropping on anthropology. Brought this price down to $20. Lots of likers and had a taker at the $20. Next is a pair of Timberland boots. I paid $9.99 for these boots. Really cute. They actually fit me. I just didn't wear them. I had them for, oh, I guess, probably since last fall as I was buying things for the winter. And lots of likes. Again, nobody wanted to make that purchase. And I did a price drop down to $60 and they were sold. Next is an item that falls in the category of, I don't know why I sold it for this price, but this is a Viramoto, Viramoto uh, blouse. It's a really cute blouse. It was brand new with tags. It was from my own closet, and I sold it for $12. So I didn't really make any money on this top, but it's gone, and I don't have to look at it ever again. Next is a Jones & Co. dress, again, from my own closet, price reduced to $25 and sold at $25. The next items that were sold were part of a bundle. Two items from my own closet. One is this Viramoto blouse, one is this Harry Potter uh, t-shirt. I sold both of them for $25. My cost was zero. <laughs> But selling them both for $25, they were easy to pack and put in an envelope and send away. And again, it's more stuff that's gone out of my closet that I don't have to look at again. Next is a Tommy Hilfiger woman's black puffy vest. Price dropped it, clearing out this winter stuff. Sold it for $20. My cost on it would have been $6. And a couple summer items coming up. Michael Kors, pink denim skinny crops, I guess they're called. Uh, I was price dropping some of my jeans as well, and these ones dropped down to $30 and sold. Next item is a pair of sandals, a Teva sandals, posted on eBay and Poshmark, and I really had expected these to sell on eBay. Lots of people looking at them, but nobody making any purchase. So finally someone came through, they offered me $30, and I said, you know what, let's take the $30 and run with it. One of the things I'm looking at right now where I'm looking to clear items out of my closet, um, really taking a hard look at what I'm paying for these items, and I'm not going to lose a sale over 2 or $3. So if I need to sell something at $20 instead of $25, I'm going to do it, or sell it at $30 instead of $35, I'm going to do it. Um, so some of my prices are going to come down just to clear out items in my closet because I just want to move some items. Next is a really cute jacket from uh, Hatley had an offer at $35 on this jacket. It's going to be a great addition to someone's spring, spring wardrobe, and it sold at $35. Next is a couple of items coming out of my own closet. This Eliza J uh, dress is something that I had, I don't think I've ever worn it, but it was in my wardrobe. Put it up on Poshmark, and it sold it for $25. These Bandolino sandals had tons of likers, no buyers. I know this is sounding like a broken record. I price dropped these sandals down to $15. I paid zero because these are from my own closet. So because of the cost being zero, I was okay at them selling at the $15 mark because I didn't have to reduce anything by cost of goods sold. Next is a bundle of items, which was nice. Two items sold for $100. These Adidas men's, uh, they're kind of like, a, they're a sneaker, but they have a heart toe, so they're like a work sneaker. And this Strelson uh, jacket. The jacket I paid $6 for, and the shoes I also paid $6 for. So my cost of goods on these two, these two things was $12, and I sold them for $100. So that's the kind of sale I'd like to make day in, day out. And this was a, a buyer that offered me the $100 for the two items. And some Timberland boots went out, dropping pricing of boots. These went down to $25, and I had a sale at $25. Next item, laundromat men's sweater. I had a person come through and offer $75 for this sweater. I thought that was a very nice offer. I paid under $10 for this sweater. Uh, it wasn't for my regular thrift, uh, thrift store that I go to, so I can't remember exactly what that is. 
And the beautiful part of this is that I did get a message back from the buyer and they told me how thrilled they were with the purchase. They absolutely loved it. And I really do love it when I hear back from buyers saying that they were thrilled with the purchase. Same for this next item. It's a pair of men's fry loafers. Lost my words. Men's fried loafers. Sold them for $75. My price was $6. I had a buyer actually come back to the item where they can add comments under your pictures and thanked me for selling the item to him. He thanked me for selling the item to him. I've never had someone do that. I've had people tell me they were thrilled. I've had, never had anyone come back and say, thank you for selling it to me. These are amazing. And they were brand new and uh, they were amazing, but just so nice to hear back from buyers so that they're happy with things that I'm selling. <sighs> Next, this Ralph Lauren puffy coat. Ralph Lauren ended up in my things I'm not really buying anymore, my no bolo list. I offered this jacket to so many people and to so many people and it just didn't sell. I dropped the price to $19. I bought it for six, sold it for 19, close to the 20 mark, but I really thought a down puffy coat by Ralph Lauren would sell for more than $19, but it did not. Next, Lululemon. It's a two-in-one black tank top, sold it for $25. The items I usually pay up for in my closet are Lululemon. So last year I bought a lot of Lululemon um, tank tops and uh, scuba hoodies and some of the leggings. I've sold most of it, but I still had some tank tops that I still have to post on the uh, Poshmark website and the eBay website. Um, but I'm not in a hurry to go through them. So finally selling this one for $25. Again, not a tremendous amount of profit. But I like to have Lululemon in my closet because a lot of people on Poshmark are looking for Lululemon. Next is another anthropology item. It's actually We The Free. It's an oversized sweater. And again, sold at that $20 range. So I guess if I want to sell anthropology, I'm going to have to get used to the fact that they're not going to sell for $75, but somewhere between $20 and $30 in that range. Next is a Ralph Lauren large uh, tote bag. It's from my own closet. It was something that I had to have, but I never ever used it. I had it listed on the website at $100. I really didn't care if it sold at all because, I mean, someday I might use it. Uh, I did have an offer at $60, which is a great price on it because it was just from my own closet. And uh, I sold it. Off it went. Next is Tahari. Almost to the end of Poshmark. Tahari jacket, again, looking to get rid of some of these jackets. Sent out offers at $25 and sold it. And Tahari is one of those brands that I really like uh, personally. And I am selling some of it on Poshmark. And I do find it when I'm out thrifting. So it's kind of something that I look at, but I don't think it's considered a high seller on Poshmark. And Last Poshmark item for this video is this Tommy Hilfiger vest. I posted it online for $30. Immediately had someone offer me $20 for this vest because of the time of year. Cleared it out. Vest cost me about $4.95. So I took the $20 offer and said, done. That was what I sold on Poshmark for a total of $1,261. Now, I also had some eBay sales. So on eBay, I sold these Alegria boots. Cute little boots. Again, trying to clear some stuff out of my closet. Sold them for $53.96. This next item, it's Barefoot Dreams. It's a shawl, shrug, cape, whatever you want to call it. So amazingly soft. Brand new with tags. I listed it for a high price on eBay. I really didn't want to sell this item and sometimes I post things online because I'm active on the platform if I'm posting online, but I put a high price on it hoping that nobody buys it. I sold it on eBay for $76.96 and that's US dollars. So I didn't get to wear it. 
uh, a tank top from Lulu Lemon. Sold this on eBay as well at thirty-seven dollars and sixty-nine cents. All the prices that I'm reading to you right now are in U.S. dollars. I'll convert it at the end. Tom's Chucka Boots, another item that had tons of likers on Poshmark. No buyers. Sold on eBay for forty-one dollars and fifty-one cents. Oh, these these Adidas sneakers, they were something I found at a thrift store that uh, somebody must have been cleaning out inventory because they're like a, um, a vintage style. And I had, these actually went to Germany. These sneakers were my very first international sale. I forgot until I just read this. So these went to Germany. They were also paid in U.S. dollars for $60.96. I actually didn't follow up. I didn't hear anything back, so I assumed that they got to where they were going. Uh, I can ship to anywhere in the world through the third-party shipping company that I use, Chit Chats Express. So, one international sale. Check. Next, another Talbot's item. I had this really cute yellow striped rain jacket. Sold it for $39.56. This JBL docking system is something that I had in my house, just sitting in a closet. It fits the old style iPod. It's not the 30 lightning pin, it's the old style one. Sold that one at $52.96. This Harvard men's lacrosse jacket, I found it at a thrift haul recently. Paid $6 for this item. Sold it on eBay for $103.96. It sold the next day after I posted it. If I ever find Harvard items again, I'll definitely pick them up. I had read somewhere that they sell really well, and it was true for me. And the last item on this list is a Vineyard Vines belt. I picked this up last summer. Never got around to getting it online. Finally put it on Poshmark and eBay, and it sold for $48.84 on eBay. And it sold the next day as well, so it sold really quickly. So if I ever see Vineyard Vines belts when I'm out there, I'll be picking them up as well. I have been looking over the past few weeks when I've been out there, uh, and I have not found any again. I shouldn't say out there over the last few weeks because in February I was on a no thrifting ban and I did not buy anything in, in February. Now we're in March and I've been out looking for some stuff so in the past couple of weeks I haven't found anything out there on a Vineyard Vines belt. So my grand total from selling from eBay was $692.58. Added to my $1,261 from Poshmark I made $1,953.50. And if you look at any of my What Sold videos, my goal as a reseller in 2021 was to sell about $850 per week and divide that number by two and I had $976.79 in sales per week. So I have met my target for the end of February 2021. So if you have found this video educational or informational or even entertaining, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Give me a thumbs, down, thumbs up or thumbs down. Drop me a note in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.